Hey guys, so today I want to check out the new iOS 7 beta 4 on my iPhone 5 over here. Uh, so this will be very, very interesting. Finally, we're getting this new beta and we do have a ton of actually new additions here that I think many people will enjoy. Uh, so it's been three weeks ago since we got the beta 3 and I did a review of that and it turned out to be a huge success. So I will be continuing on here, checking this beta out. So the first thing we can see here is that we do have a lock screen update. So you can see here that uh, they made it a little bit more clean here, slide to unlock, I think that arrow is new. Uh, and just a little bit more nice there on the lock screen. So let's check it out one more time here. So you can see here, use the normal swipe here to unlock. Let's do that one more time. And uh, you can also see that this button down here should be about the same. You swipe to open up the camera. So if we continue on and check out also some other things, it seems like uh, Apple have in this new beta 4 also updated the phone dialer here with the call button. And it can also be so that now when you uh, are going to, uh, you, that you will have like an also button now. I think that earlier it might have been so that uh, you got this swipe to call, uh, but usually I, I never call with my phone, so <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, I don't call with phones. Can you call with phones? Yeah, I know, I'm a nerd. Uh, so let's continue on. Uh, so I think that the update was also that it was a little bit more rounded off there on the sides. Uh, so if we continue on, uh, Spotlight also has been updated. So when we swipe down like this, it does, I think this console button up here at the top is a new addition. So when you tap on it, it will use console, whatever now you're trying to do. Uh, also, some people have been reporting minor uh, keyboard tweaks, so you might be able to see something new there. Uh, of course, there are a ton of different languages. You can also, of course, just swipe up here to uh, remove uh, the spotlight. So uh, let's go over to the next thing. Uh, HDR in the camera mode is now at another place. Uh, instead of being uh, at the bottom here, it's now uh, located at the top. So of course HDR mode is a mode that should be able to enhance pictures that you take but that it can take up a little bit more memory if you use it. Uh, so uh, the next thing here is that you can you can now do a pretty cool thing uh, when you go down from notification center. The first thing I've heard is that they have made a capital on today or a mist. Uh, but the very, very cool thing that you can do inside here now is that you can do swipes between all of these three pages, which is probably one of my favorite features with the new beta. So let's say you have notifications on all, uh, you just want to swipe to them. Very, very cool. So you can immediately go over there. You can see that no lag or anything. I mean, it's super awesome performance. You can see this new cool kind of like nice uh, in the background that you can see kind of like a blur background, which is pretty awesome. Uh, let's move on and check out the, the next thing here. It also seems like they updated the mail app when you do, you do an image download. Uh, so some minor tweaks over there. Seems also that they have updated the Safari browser. So here I am on GSM Arena and of course I'm probably going to check out the browser as well in um, other videos and, and, and check it out. But when you go over here now uh, to the bookmarks page, you can see here that they made a slight you UI tweak here uh, across the interface, uh, so you might uh, be able to see that it's a little bit different. Not, of course, a super big deal. And then, of course, if you want to go into private mode, you can do so, and it won't save any history or uh, remember any website that you're walking to or going to. If you want to turn it off again, you can just do it like so hit the done button and you are back where you started. So pretty cool. Uh, let's um, uh, check out another thing. It seems like they could have tweaked some filters uh, down here in the camera app when you tap on this uh, filter button uh, that they could have tweaked some of these. It also seems like the filters now uh, is available uh, at some phones, uh, like some older iPhones that didn't have the filters earlier, that they are now getting the filters uh, as well. So uh, I might be checking that out also, which is pretty awesome. 
Uh, another thing here is that in the reminders app, we do now have a search bar and I think this is a new thing. So this is of course already the new reminders app inside uh, of iOS 7. But now when you swipe down, uh, you do have a search bar there at the top. And you can immediately search something and you have the same kind of console button there. Console button that you do have uh, over here in the spotlight. So um, the next thing here that we also do have, as I said there, the, the keyboard is a little bit uh, updated. Also when you set up your phone for the first time with this new beta, uh, I've heard that they have an improved back button. Uh, so you some minor little tweak there. Also, I'm not really sure how you use AirPlay, but I've heard that there's some UI tweaks uh, with that one as well. Of course, AirPlay is when you can stream stuff from your iOS device, let's say your iPad or your iPhone to let's say your Apple TV if you have one of those. I've heard that they made some small UI tweaks there to probably the icons. Uh, the new stand app pro also uh, should have a little bit of a tweak in how it looks like when you open it up, but that's of course just a small little updates and uh, also I've heard that in let's say the music app if you have music content available uh, this shuffle all songs uh, should be back uh, also overall they should have better animations so you might be able to see it that it looks a little bit sharper I'm, I'm not sure if I had that little bump there uh, earlier when I had earlier betas but it looks pretty cool uh, of course, here's the control center, kind of looks like it always has been. But it feels feels a little bit snappier here probably than the earlier version. I really do enjoy this cool thing that you can swipe in the notification center. It's very, very awesome. Uh, so uh, better animations and also transparency, transparency uh, when you have, let's say, a folder should be a lot better. So you can see here when we go in and out, very, very good animations, very, very snappy and quick. I've also heard that uh, when you tap on these uh, apps uh, in the dock, that earlier they might not have had an animation or let's say that you had a folder uh, in the dock. I'm not really sure if you can have that, but if you can, uh, they should affect so you can now have animations uh, if you have a folder in the dock. So very, very good and fresh. Uh, also, they, should, they do now having a, a completed upload notifications. I'm not quite sure what it is. Uh, but if you go to the notification center, if you go down, uh, we do have completed uploads. I'm not really sure what this is, uh, but you can check it out if you want. Uh, but you do should have complete upload notifications. Also, Siri, when you use it, so let's say you scroll in here and go to the help page down there at the bottom. Uh, they should have a Q&A at the end uh, that could help you a little bit, uh, uh, help you what you can ask Siri. And Siri, of course, is Apple's uh, own personal voice assistant uh, that you can use. And then also you should be able to have sound on AirDrop alerts. I'm not really sure also what AirDrop is. Uh, I'm not sure how to access it. Uh, so um, uh, that is uh, a lot of those new additions uh, with the iPhone 5 update uh, of iOS 7 beta 4. Uh, if you want me to check out this update also on other phones, uh, maybe like the earlier iPhone 4 or something, or want to see anything specific, please let me know about that and I'll see what I can do. Also, if you want to see more videos uh, in comparisons and such, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and um, I will bring you more content. Uh, I've also heard that when we go into settings, you can see here that when we go to, uh, let's say, brightness and wallpaper, if you want to know if they've changed any wallpaper or something, uh, no, it's uh, it's the same kind of wallpapers here. It's the same kind of dynamic wallpapers as well, uh, even though they are running pretty good here. Also, what I didn't show off was the multitasking area, of course. Uh, it seems to be running, uh, as good as it always has been uh, and then I could uh, if we check out the compass I've heard that it should calibrate a little bit quicker uh, than earlier so if you want quick calibration when you are in the forest running away from the police or the cops uh, very very good if you want to run west or south or east or north uh, very very cool here with the quick cal calibration so the dogs can find you because you're just running north 
I'm not sure what I'm talking about, but uh, very, very awesome. I do like the new iOS 7 beta 4, and uh, it definitely feels snappier than the earlier beta, and uh, I'll definitely more may probably make more videos on it, uh, compare different things, benchmark, browser, and such, and then also if you have, if you have find uh, yourself in new updates in the new iOS 7 beta 4, because of course there are also probably a ton of small other minor tweaks that I, uh, it's very, very hard to cover everything in one video, but if you have found anything pretty cool, uh, you can let me know about that or just let people know about that in the comment section down below so they can improve their smartphone experience. But uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, stay tuned for more videos and updates about phones and technology because I love it. It's my passion and love. Peace out.